Hello and welcome to another Helios short clip, this time for version 2021, Service Pack 1. This short video is about further new functions of the Mask Editor. This will be of particular interest to the PDM administrators. We will take a look at the new Element Editor or Element Explorer, the grouping of elements and the insertion and overlapping of images in our masks. For this, I've already started the mask editor and I open an example mask. In this case, the mask of the elbows. We see the element explorer on the left. Here we can see, arranged in a structure, all elements that are present in the open mask. We will see later that those elements can be structured like a tree with the new grouping. I'm going to show you some new features now. First, by way of a little example of how we redesign our mask editor. Let's take a look at this sectional view here. In the past, we had always worked in such a way that we entered numbers here and referred to them in the texts. With our new overlap functions, we have now the option of using such an image to enter the dimensions directly into the drawing. You can see here that certain elements can now be placed in front of the picture. That was not possible in the past. We could then remove the corresponding one here, since we don't need it anymore. To ensure that the objects actually overlap, we have a new function for transparency. If I pull the slider to zero here, we see that the attribute and the fixed text are in front of the image. If you want to have several images, you can now organize the order of layers of the images by right-clicking. Now. I group the elements. To do this, I mark them and put them in a group. I enlarge it a little bit. I can assign headings to the individual groups. For example, I can determine that this is the group for the dimensions of the elbows. On the left, in the Element Explorer, a tree structure is displayed. This means that these new groups will create new substructures for the individual elements. We now also have the option of adding icons to the headings. I've prepared a little example here. In doing so, I can make the groups more descriptive and better recognizable. We also have a new way of inserting images in masks. Until now, images always had to be located in a special directory. Now we can search the entire computer. I can load a prepared image from any directory and insert it here. The new function with Shift enables images with locked aspect ratios to be scaled. Here you can also see how the images can be arranged so that they overlap. When I place the group somewhere else, all copied objects will move with it. I save the mask. Let's see what the result looks like in the desktop. We will use the class search here. Now you can see the new mask display. I can now enter the dimensions directly in the sectional representation and would know directly which values are hidden behind it. I think this gives the PDM administrators 
even more options to design the mask more freely and to keep an overview using the element explorer thanks for watching and see you soon